Oh, look at this hair, you guys. I'm telling you. Oh my God. What's up with that? I think I'm just going to leave it. I feel kind of messed up right now. So we're just going to leave that. All right. So let's just check my mic here, make sure it's nice and you can hear it. All right. Okay. Whew. Yeah, damn. Okay. Welcome to Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. Recording this a couple of days early, by the way. I don't always record Sunday morning coffee on Sunday mornings. Might shock some of you, but you know, you got to plan ahead, right? I don't know how I'm going to feel on Sunday morning when it comes around. So we're going to have some tea today. Mm -hmm. That's a big mug, Bridget. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so I don't. Okay, the opposite. Okay, you guys, this hair. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to leave it. Let's just leave it all messy. Just say I was a little, I was getting my hair a little messy. No, let's do it nice here. There we go. I'm gonna be nice for you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing it fancy. That better? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, oh, this is what's hard about doing stuff on video. When you don't feel great and you see yourself, it doesn't, you just, no matter what you do, you don't feel good. Okay. That is not what Sunday morning coffee with Bridget is about. It is not about the way we look or seeing ourselves, although that would be a very good topic, wouldn't it? I actually wrote down a topic in my journal to talk to you about, and that would be broken, feeling broken. Yeah, not that cheerful, but realistic, because some of us are in that place right now. Are you in that place? Do you feel like that? I just had like a almost a two hour long conversation this afternoon with one of my children about all sorts of stuff, life stuff, like really serious, heavy duty life stuff. All sorts of stuff. and just a really deep conversation. And I don't know if the topic of being broken came up in that, I don't think so. But it just reiterated for me and landed harder for me, I think, the idea of, because we were talking about helping other people through their, their traumas, you know, and their difficulties and how much weight that is for us and how much it weighs on us. And he and I are both that way and he was sharing some things and so was I, very personal things. And it was like this, God, you guys, I hate this. Mutual understanding. I cannot stand the way my hair looks right now. I'm really having a hard time with it. Just because right this minute, I don't feel sensory wise, I'm kind of overloaded and I don't want to put a bunch of product in it. Okay. Feeling broken. I don't feel like or attest to the energy of feeling broken for myself. I don't, I don't really believe that any of us are broken. I do believe that people, we all at times do can, we can feel that way based upon life circumstances or situations that we're dealing with or struggling through. So I believe that the feelings are very valid, but the concept of broken is something that just, it can't be, it, it should not exist because it's an illusion. It's something that's created by our mind to judge ourselves and to separate us from what our true reality is, which is our heart loving energy. Who we are is pure love, even though we've been through so much, even though life has given us experiences and people that have created seasons and realities that are not in alignment with this beautiful love that we know that we are, that we're born with. And yet in times like this, when you might feel broken, just know that that's a legitimate feeling to have, but it's, it's a feeling or a thought. It's not a reality. It's not a status. You're not going to jump on Facebook and I'm going to change my status to broken. And it doesn't have to do with relationships externally. It has to do with the feeling of how you feel inside. And all you're really describing is the separation between you and your core self and all the ways that your life is is, is unfolding separate from who you are on the inside and who you are is pure love and light. And, and sometimes what you're seeing and experiencing externally is giving you information that makes you not believe that at your core. It makes you not believe that, but you really do believe that at your core. And that's why there's this disconnect between the information that's coming in based upon what you're seeing, observing or watching or getting handed, your ass is getting handed to you by other people because they're not happy. And you're not the fixer of the broken. You're not going around clutching everybody's broken pieces, trying to put them back together, unless you are. 
And when I was having this discussion with my kid, I kind of came to this realization that maybe that's part of a piece of my journey and has been for several years, where collecting the pieces so that other people can look at them and, and I can say, here, look, see, these are the parts of you that have been abandoned, that have been cast aside, that you have let go because you didn't think it was really you or you didn't feel like it was a safe for you to have that part of you. And it's not about how it became separated. It's about the reunion and some of the path that I've walked, I feel like I very much hold people's pieces. And it's not because they can't hold them themselves, but it's because sometimes they forget where they put them. You forget who you really are. And at the purest core form, we're all just love. We are just love and just love is enough. Love is enough when it is inside of us, internalized and realized and actualized from the core center of who we are, which is not just our heart, it's our soul and it's the union the united front between the heart and the soul, that is what you're seeking, that is what's disconnected for whatever reason. But you gotta believe what you know to be true inside you. And that is you are whole, you are complete. You just cannot see that. It feels too distant or too different than the actual physical life that you are leading or living based upon old choices, old traumas, old experiences. And I know it takes time to change and I know change is hard and I know it. I know that the realizations you're making about yourself right now and about other people in your lives, it's, it's different. Maybe different than what you expected. You may be surprising yourself or revealing things to yourself that you haven't known before or that you forgot. Things I used to love and just haven't included in your life for a really long time. Instead of focusing on when you let it go or why you let it go or how come you're not making time for it and how you must be so depressed because you're not doing the things you love, maybe you just give yourself the benefit of the opportunity to remember that you enjoyed that once and might like to try it again. Or open yourself up to new possibilities. And that's scary, I know it. But we have got to stop saying that we're broken. We have got to stop believing the crap that we are fed about being broken in a society that just constantly needs healing and everybody's messed up and nobody's happy and there's so much mental health crisis and there's so much physical body pain and there's so much, yeah, there's a lot of pain, yes. There's a lot of suffering, yes, but guess what? We're love. So you are the antidote within you. You have the cure inside you, not to make your life a picture perfect thing to show off to everyone else, everybody you know, but to feel yourself, to feel authentically you and whole. You have broken yourself up into pieces so that you can save these special parts of yourself for that day, the day when you can stand and be proud and feel connected and whole for yourself, maybe for your children, maybe for your parents who couldn't do that for themselves, whatever the reason is, just know that, that the broken is not a status. It's not a destination. It's not a diagnosis. It's a feeling that is valid. That's it. It doesn't have to control you or define you or change you, but it can lead you into a place of inspire, inspiration where you understand that life is a journey that includes healing. And healing is a lifestyle. It's not because there's a problem. It's not because you're busted up into a million pieces. That's not why you go to counseling or therapy. You go to counseling or therapy to talk to someone else that's not a friend and not the lover, okay? That's why you go to counseling or therapy, to talk to somebody that's totally unbiased. And don't you think you might need that? perspective doesn't mean you're broken it means you understand what healing is and that getting other perspectives outside of your own so you can hear back your own words the things that you're saying the thoughts that you're actually thinking when you respond to questions in a counseling session that seems stupid or ridiculous or so basic in a coaching session so basic you're like, well, of course, blah, 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 blah. When you say it out loud and then that person repeats it back to you, you're getting it two ways. You're expressing it and you can hear it when you're saying it and acknowledging that it's a thought. Then it's repeated back to you as this is what you said. Is this what you believe? And then you can question 
from a neutral third party since it's outside of your body, if that is really true for you or not. And the fact that we feel broken is because there are some lies or falsehoods or just simple misunderstandings about the way we've been living our lives up to this point. And guess what? There's just been this huge collective shakeup with COVID and it has caused a complete <coughs> opportunity for disconnection and what appears to be broken pieces, but maybe it's just a part of, we're seeing parts and separate parts so that we can choose what we wanna put in and wear. We get to choose what our makeup is. We get to choose how we want to be in our own alignment and how we want to express, how we want to, to share our love that is the core of who we are, whether it be through a passion project, through volunteerism, through work, through family, through relationship, through children, through whatever that might look like for you that creates this legacy that isn't about being broken. It's about understanding, understanding that you are here. You are given this incredible, unique opportunity to live as a human being. You're living as a person and you have a soul, a part of God, a part of the stars, the universe that is magical and alchemical and really limitless in possibility and probability. And this is yours. Are you really going to choose to create a status of broken when it's not true? You might need a pause. You might need a, a time to reflect. You might need a rest or respite. Yeah, because it's been hard. I know it. Me too. Me too. It's been hard, yes, yes. But does that mean we just give up and go, I'm broken, I'm so broken, so therefore I can't show up. Therefore I'm going to withdraw. Therefore I'm going to blame other people and act like, oh, poor me, I'm so sad, it's poor me. I'm gonna just succumb to the energies of depression or anxiety to just rule my roost energetically so I have no control or power because I'm just so broken. Really? Are you really going to do that? Why? Why would you give anything else that power or authority over you? You are so sovereign in your light. You are so sovereign inside of you, within. You just love. Why wouldn't you want the love that you are? The freedom of the love that you are to expand. To grow and glow. Let's do it. Let's grow and glow. Let's do it. Let's live a life like that. Now, there are changes that need to happen. You and I both know it. And the changes are hard and it affects people and they're gonna be mad and they're gonna be pissed off and they're gonna be sad. And guess what? You get to give them room too, to grieve and to shift and to be upset or feel their feelings or whatever it is, or be happy or excited, whatever their feelings are, it's fine. Let them, because you need time, room and space to grow to feel your feelings about you, not to be taken over by other people's values or belief systems or by old patterns of your own behavior that are autopiloted, that just kind of happen and come up. It's an opportunity for awareness that you need that during the change process. And you're going to screw stuff up. You're going to make mistakes or things that you're like, oh my gosh, why did I do that? You might like fly off the handle easily. You might say something you don't mean, but then guess what? You get to learn forgiveness and grace. You get to learn how to love yourself through challenge and triumph. And then, and then when you get to the after place, you'll feel this incredible amount of integrity within yourself because you followed through and let the feelings of compassion and grace and forgiveness flow through you for yourself. It's not something you have to give to anyone else. It's for you inside you. This will help. I think this is, these are going to be important pieces in this journey. And I'm here with you here on Above Life channel on YouTube, also on Fairy Grasshopper on YouTube. I'm here to help inspire your spirit and fill you with hope because this is your life. This is it.
All right. Well, I hope, let's see. I hope that you've been able to enjoy the Sunday morning coffee podcast with Bridget. Thanks so much for being here. If you're looking for a daily inspiration, check me out on Instagram or Facebook at Bridget Inspired. That's Bridget with two T's and an E at the end, like at E-T-T-E. Inspired Bridget Inspired.